my research is about observing other human beings, also introspecting about myself, and the decisions that we make and the outcomes of those decisions and the actions that those decisions cause us to make. And so the way I go about it, it's very data-driven. The data that we have then tries to inform a model which is our hypotheses of how the decision works. And from those models, then we go back and see what does the model tell us? Is there something about that observed intention, observed decision that we didn't expect? My work also involves talking to people, looking at different data sets of conversations people have curated, things like, for example, looking at people making arguments, say, on a controversial topic like abortion. When you have people conversing, you might have this, oh, I see this new way of thinking, or I see this alternative path of reasoning chain that comes up. So it's a mix. If I have the data in hand, I'm going to be crunching a lot of data, but a lot of it's also curating and trying to elicit and build these data sets from human beings. I think one of the things that I've really enjoyed, especially here or there, is just the sheer number of different topics, and especially the students, both from undergraduate to graduate. My most enjoyable experiences is when you get fresh new perspectives from people who are interested in working with the lab, people who are interested in exploring new ideas. So I just want to conclude this out, is that people should feel free and come talk to me. I just really enjoy that, and as I said, new thoughts, new ideas. Different perspectives is always my motto. So if you have the different perspectives coming through, that's going to be really important for generating a diversity of knowledge.